Hey everyone, this is Sterp, and today's video is all about what I thought of It Chapter 2. I just got home from the theater. I'm a little late, I know, but I've been quite busy with YouTube content, with writing and editing my own stuff, so it's just been kind of crazy. Overall, I loved it. However, I did think that the CGI and the special effects at times were a bit much, and it kind of took away from the scariness um, that it could have been. There were moments when the special effects and CGI absolutely were necessary and worked in its favor, but I really thought that there were other moments where it was just kind of hokey and a little too much and I wasn't very scared. It kind of took that away uh, for a second. So I'll give some examples. Spoiler alert. The examples when the special effects worked in its favor are things like when Pennywise opens his mouth extremely large to show his sharp, amazing teeth right before he's going to chomp on and eat any kind of child. So obviously we need this. This is the, it's so reminiscent of Tim Curry Pennywise, right? You have to have the mouth gaping open and sharp teeth ready to just stick the little kids right in their heads. So that worked. Great job. Also, when they show Pennywise without any makeup and Bev is alone with him, she's like running to a door and we see Pennywise and he basically grabs his face and starts pulling on his skin and his nails tear into his skin, making it bleed. So it kind of gives that stitching like a clown. That worked. That was awesome. It looked pretty realistic as well. So, hey, great. Okay, one of the hokey parts with the special effects that I loved, I don't know why, but I loved it, is when their friend Stanley, who kills himself and is dead, they find him in the refrigerator. His body is like all folded up and then his head rolls off and spider legs start to come out of his face and ears and eyeballs and basically he becomes a spider. So his head, his human head is the spider's body and then it starts chasing all the friends around. That was awesome. It definitely was, there was tons of special effects there, you can tell, but it was creepy and it was so cool and ugh, it grossed me out. I hate spiders. Another part that I loved with the special effects is when Bev and Ben are alone. They end up getting sucked away from each other. It's kind of later in the movie. Um, they're together and then they get pulled away from each other and Bev ends up in a bathroom stall and Ben ends up in the uh, in the like underground kind of tree house underground that they've made as kids. And so I loved it because they were in two separate kind of memories and scenarios um, in their own like nightmares, right? And when the blood starts to gush through the, the bathroom stall and Bev almost drowns in this blood and Ben is almost suffocating in this, in this dirt, right? I loved that. And the fact that when she kicks open that bathroom stall, now their two nightmares are connected. They're like sharing the same wall and she's able to put her hand out and save Ben. So I thought the special effects were great then. The times where it didn't work, where I felt like it took away from me getting scared or being scared. For example, the old lady in Bev's childhood apartment. Bev goes back to the apartment to get her token and to face um, this, you know, her fear of her childhood apartment and what's inside. The old woman who answers the door, who now lives there, I gotta say, She's already scary. She creeped me out. I thought she was eerie just being her old wrinkly self. Like she was just kind of creepy. And when she talked to Bev, she was great at just giving this very, like it made you uncomfortable when she was talking just as herself because you knew that it was like, you knew Pennywise was inside of her already based off of the old lady's uh, facial expressions and the tone in her voice. Then she turns into an old hag lady. Rocco, my dog thinks it's playtime. Hi, hello. He wants to share his beer with you. This is his beer, his nasty beer. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be like that YouTuber who spits on her dog and hits her dog. Yuck. Anyways, um... <laughs> Rock. Rocco. So when the old lady turns into this like giant old hag naked thing, it's nasty, it's gross, of course, but it didn't scare me as much as just the old lady herself. 
Um, so that's an example of when I thought the effects were just kind of too much, like it didn't really work in that situation. Also the scene with the leper, um, the special effects there, that it just seemed too fake. Too fake to the point where I wasn't afraid. I was just like, oh, that's kind of silly, you know. And some other random thoughts. I loved Stephen King's cameo. Of course, he always makes cameos in these movies uh, based off of his books, so I thought that was pretty cool. I loved the shirt he was wearing. He was wearing a Neil Young shirt, um, Harvest Moon, so I thought that was pretty awesome. I also really liked the comedy between the characters Rich and Eddie. Um, I, I thought that was great. There were, you know, those actors were really funny and it kind of brought light to the situation, so um, I loved that as well. All in all, I thought it was a good remake. It wasn't horrible, but I do like the 1990 It better. I thought the original was scarier. I loved Tim Curry as Pennywise. This, you know, this movie wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. I, I do like that classic clown though, that classic clown look that Tim Curry had in the original It versus the kind of CGI newer version. There are scary parts to the newer version, don't get me wrong, I just prefer the original. Last but not least, keep in mind that they did leave out the orgy scene that's in the book. So 